Hello, this is Christian. In this video, we'll be talking about how to pass arguments to a function by reference. So, PHP supports both uh, uh, methods for passing arguments by either by value or by reference. The default is by value. And by value, we mean we, we only mean passing the data, not the actual memory address of that variable. So, that is the distinction between the two. So when you pass by reference, you are passing the memory address and the arguments cannot be a constant literals. This means that you cannot just pass in a number or a character or a string, right? It has to be a variable. And you will prefix that variable with the ampersand, a single ampersand in front of the name of the variable. So let's see how this is done in PHP. Okay, I'm going to create another file here. I will call it... Um, just say pass by reference. Okay, so let's create a function here. A uh, very simple function to do the sum of two numbers just like the previous video. Function sum, and I'm going to take two arguments A and B. This function returns the uh, value of them, the two, so return A plus B. Very simple like that. Now I have here is sum equals to the sum of, um, again, if, you, if I just put numbers like this, that's fine, but these are automatically um, passed by a value, so I'm passing the value 1 and 2 only to the function, so that is, uh, that's okay, that's okay, but if you want to use by uh, reference, you have to use a variable. So notice if I um, change uh, this, let's just say I'm going to pass B by reference. By reference, you put the ampersand in front of it like this, okay? So this is indication that this variable is now receiving not the only the value, but also the memory address of whatever is being passed to it. So again, you see that my D tells me that only variables can be used as reference because it's a constant, right? Constant doesn't have a, a, a that information. So uh, these have to be a variable. So we can call this one here. Um, let's just call it um, um, num2, right? So this could be num1 and num2. I need to clear this out here. So num1, I'll assign that to be 2, and then um, num2 is 4, okay? So I have a sum of 2 plus 4, I get 6. And then I'm going to echo that out of here. Echoes the sum. And I should get... A six. So if you run this in terminal, you will see that uh, pass by parameters, I get a six, just as as expected, right? So now um, I'm passing the uh, a by value because I did not put the ampersand in front of it. I'm passing b by reference. Okay, so what does that mean? That means I'm passing the memory address of this second parameter here. Now, I call this num2. This is b. It doesn't matter, right? This b here is just a placeholder to receive the actual argument uh, from here. So this is the one that is important, the outside parameter here or value variable. So if I, uh, that means if I make any changes internally, because these are local variables, right? If I go in here and say, you know, I change A to, um, you know, 5, 5. And if I change B to, um, instead of 2, I put 1, okay? So if I do the sum, what do I pass to A? A will be replaced by, uh, by 5, right? So num2 will be and I want to be 5, and then B will be 1, I get 6 back. Same thing. Not just too obvious. Let's just make a different number. Uh, let's put 10 here. Okay. So I'll save that. And uh, let's run this. Okay. So you see that I get 15 because whatever I pass through doesn't matter, right? Because I changed, I overwrite those in here. So I get 15 back. Okay. Now the difference is now in the outside here of the function. Okay. So when I do a print down here, echo, let's just put a line break first. Now I'm going to print A, what A is, okay, and I'm going to print B as well. 
so we'll put B here and um, and maybe we should do something like this this is before the function call no I mean like up here like before I call the function and after I call the function okay so this is before and this is after so you can see the difference between um, the two variables okay so let's go ahead and run this and I'll explain okay so here we go um, okay what happened here I probably did something oh I oh I'm using a and B shouldn't be a and B should be num num1 num2 So it should be num1, num2. Oops. Num1, num2. OK, save this again. And let's clear the screen down here and run it one more time. All right, so here we go. So before. I have some errors still. What happened? Uh, B. Did I still use uh, invalid variables here? Um, oh, this is before. So my my own, my own confusion. Let's clear the screen again. I'm not sure why this is not disappearing. Uh, it should it should be gone. Um, I'm going to do a clean one. Okay. CLS and then PHP pass by reference okay so here we go so uh, before I should have put a line break so before this the num1 has a value of 2 of, of 2 right 2 num2 has value of 4 this is really confusing let's do this again yeah let, let's clean this up I don't like that it's very hard to see um, put it in here and put another uh, one here Okay, so before, after, um, you print that line break, you print that line break. So uh, after the sum, let's put a, a couple just to make sure that we have um, enough. Okay, so let's try this again. Save that and clear the screen and run it one more time. Okay, a little bit better. All right, so before and one, num1 is 2 and num2 is 415. Why is it 415? Um, because I put the sum here, I did not put the line break again. So, all right, echo line break. Okay, save that again. Okay, so make sure you put the line break after the sum and before the sum. Okay, so the, the sum is 15, really. That's why it's all jumbled together here. Clear this again one more time. Okay, much better. So now, before this sum is called, we get 2 and 4 for num1 and num2. I call this sum function, okay, and I add them up, I get 15 because inside here, a is 5 and b is now 10, and I add them up, I get 15, okay. I come back out, outside the function, I print them again at the after of that values. As you, as you can see, num1 is still a 2, right? But num2 now is no longer a 4, it's now a 10, right? Because that's been changed inside the function. So in here, when you pass in the variable num2 to b by reference, you are passing the actual memory address of this variable here. So whatever you do inside this function to b, it affects the one outside here too because they're pointing to the same location and memory and, and and that's what it means that's all it is you pass the reference of this second variable to this function so if you make any changes in here it will affect the original values outside here as well so this is very helpful in certain cases also it can be very tricky and dangerous in some cases so be very careful when you do that and that's how you, that's how you pass reference a very argument by reference